Glass is one of the most used and recycled materials in the world. In this video we will see how long glass panels are made and how glass containers are made. Glass is used in many shapes and forms, from small utensils in the kitchen to the window panes of large buildings. The use of glass is the most in the building construction and automobile market. Let us see how the glass is required for this are manufactured in the factory. It may sound a little unbelievable to say that glasses are made from the world's most accessible grains of sand. But it is. Along with small grains of sand, caustic lime also becomes the main ingredient in making glass. Along with this, old and broken glasses are also used. In this way, it is possible to reduce the need for other raw materials by recycling the glass itself for glass manufacturing. The glass pieces that come as waste in the same factory for manufacture are called as cullet. This is also reused in glass making itself. The glass that is crushed and cut into smaller pieces is transported to the required places by a conveyor belt. Other materials that need to be brought from outside are stored in large tanks brought to the factory on trucks and trains. From there, each item is weighed and then released into the mixer. If colored glasses are made, the necessary metallic oxide is added at this time. If the ratio of each of these is not correct, it will affect the quality of the final glass. When the mixing is done, it is deposited on a conveyor belt in front of the furnace. The mixer is continuously pushed into the furnace by a machine, which falls into a place where it sits at a temperature of 1300 degrees Celsius. As it enters the furnace, it begins to melt and become like lava. The heat inside it is 1600 degrees Celsius. Inside the 500 meter long furnace, each material is fired from two sides to ensure complete melting and fusion. It also helps prevent air bubbles. Every operation inside the furnace is constantly monitored by technicians wearing safety shields. The glass coming out of this furnace is heated by cold air over it, making it thick enough to flow like honey. But it takes a little more work to get both sides of them flat, for that, the metal is melted into a liquid form called tin. The glass coming out of the furnace is poured over this, like petrol on top of water. That way both sides of the glass are flat. There will be 24 hour man control room to control the glass flow speed, its thickness and everything. When these glass panels are cooled to a temperature of 600 degrees, they are transferred to the top of metallic rollers. But still it will not be thick. As the glass may crack if cooled at once, it is cooled in several stages after being transported 200 meters. The first stage classes are slowly cooled to remove the stress inside the glass. In the next stage, it is thoroughly cooled to 50 degrees Celsius so that it does not break even when cut. Glass making has reached its final stage. There the glass sheets are checked for quality with the help of an optical sensor. In the next stage, the glass sheet side will be scratched with a diamond cutter. This is for ease of cutting later. The glass sheets are cut to the desired dimensions using the next cutter. When moving forward again, the parts on the side are peeled off with the roller and will be in the exact shape. At the same time, the glass sheets that do not have quality will be broken with cold water. These are again taken to the first step of glass making. So the ready glass sheets are taken out through the roller. These are removed and stacked using a machine with a vacuum cup. Workers who have to handle it without machines wear clothes made of bulletproof jacket material. Because the possibility of cutting the body with glass is very high. 
The glass sheet thus stacked is transported to the customer by special type of trucks. It only takes one day to go from grains of sand to glass used in windows. Large factories like St. Gobain produce glass sheets up to 600 kilometers long a day. There is so much demand for it. Now let's see how glass vessels are made. Glass is a material that can be 100% recycled and reused over and over again. Just like making glass sheets, the main ingredients for making pottery are sand grains and lime. But the most used is recycled glass waste. By using it, carbon dioxide emissions can be greatly reduced. All these are loaded into the furnace and heated at 1500 degrees Celsius and melted. 10 ton glass and is formed in one hour in such a furnace. The glass is made into a slightly thicker form to keep the temperature correct. From there it is pressed through a hole and released. When the correct length is reached it is cut and laid down. Each of these pieces will go inside each mold through the pipes. First, it blows high pressure air inside and hollows out the interior. From here it is placed close to the mold and blown again to the correct size and shape. Containers of various shapes and sizes are thus advanced along the conveyor belt. 50 large bottles can be manufactured in one hour. Bottles that are not finished and still hot are passed through a chamber. Here it is reheated and slowly cooled to room temperature. This is done to be stress-free. They will come out as thick bowls. These now have quality tests. Shape, size, strength and color are all tested by experts in glass manufacturing to ensure quality. Any that seem to have a problem are broken and sent back to the first step of glass making. The glass containers that passed all the tests are packed and sent to the stores. How was the process of making the glass? Please comment and let me know. Also let us know the manufacturing activities of the items you would like to see, of course doable. Thanks for watching.